Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. As you guys know, we got this Kuhn 9400 no-till NT um, the other day. And today, Ben is coming back down. He is going to help us calibrate the unit uh, for the first seed that we're gonna be putting through it. So he's gonna kind of explain to us the calibration process. It's something that we're gonna have to change every time we uh, change up our mix. But thankfully, Kuhn makes the process super, super easy. So here's the unit itself. Travis is throwing the seed on the back of it right now. We're gonna fill up the box. And then when Ben gets here, it should make it an easier process to complete the calibration. We're on the back of the drill now. So we've got four bags of grass seed that we're gonna be putting down. And we're gonna just use the front box on the drill because we've only got four bags that we're gonna put in at first. Um, we don't have a lot of seed of one particular mix because we're doing waterways, we're direct seeding some, and then we're doing my own grass alfalfa mix that we're gonna be doing probably last. So we're gonna put dad seed in first, we're gonna do the first calibration, and then when we switch the mixes up, we're gonna have to recalibrate the drill uh, for those mixes again. So we were just talking, and since this has such a huge capacity, what we're probably gonna end up doing is narrowing up these boxes, put the mixes in the front, and this is actually adjustable. It's probably intended to push back and you can put just one mix across the whole thing, but I think since we have only four bags that we're putting in right now to kind of narrow up the box, just to kind of decrease, decrease the capacity a little bit, um, we're gonna narrow it up and put it in the front. So why don't you pull that? pin out. Let's see how far back we can put it. I think that's probably pretty good right there. Until when? Right when he gets here, yeah. Go ahead. Alright, go hand me a bag. Nice hoodie. Thank you. This one? Let's hope so. That side or this my side? Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Yep. Um, you sure you got it? Yeah. Okay, good. Big scatter. Yep. It's a good thing I got myself an intern to do all the heavy lifting for me. <laughs> so now we've got our grass mix in the front box. Nowhere near capacity, but it should work for what we need it for. So now we should be good to close the top. So Ben's here. He's gonna walk us through the calibration and get us all set up to go for our first day of drilling seed. So did you have a look at our mix to 
it's like five different grasses. <laughs> Looks like a one to me. Yeah. We've got the mix on the bag, but I don't know what what's the best way to set it up. Um, you know what the majority of them? Let's have a look. So, majority of it is ryegrass. What? About 30, 20, 50 percent of it's ryegrass. Then there's fescue, timothy, and bluegrass. So Kuhn does have a chart in the box to show you how to set it up, but they also have the seed set app, which helps you get it narrowed down a little bit easier. So we're gonna be using the seed set app to calibrate the drill. Setting those at 50 yep. percent? Yeah. Okay. We looked at the mix that we're putting down and the majority of it is ryegrass. So what seed rate are you going for? 30 pounds of the acre. That gives us all our settings, so. We'll go over back and set it to where it says. What's the first one we gotta set? Um, I did the metering out on this side to one, put the variator at 70. So what's this one? This is basically changing the speed of the shaft. Okay. So instead of swapping sprockets and gears, we just set that to the right number. Okay. Um, and then we're supposed to... With the metering unit at 13. And then it says put here at one. And that one's already set. Yep. So is that all it took to calibrate it? We now we gotta run it out and test it. Yep. Okay. Do a couple turns to make sure stuff's coming out. All the meter units are charged. Yep. And we'll dump that out and do the actual. Okay. So the seed drill does have an ISO monitor. What do you, I guess, what is the monitor, monitor on the drill? Yeah, so on the drill, it'll keep track of the shaft rotation to let you know if your drive wheel is slipping or anything like that. Um, that also helps you do an acre counter. And the part I'm going to use here today is it helps with a calibration assistant. Okay. Uh, so it'll turn on a light so you know you've cranked enough times on the handle. Okay. It also helps you adjust if you do crank too many times. It'll Or if you're on low on seed. Yep, middle, yeah, it keeps track of that. So that's your calibration screen. So that's where it's telling us for a 20th of an acre. 41 and a half turns. Okay. Yep, 2.885. What are you optimizing? So optimized metering unit setting was seven, the variator 70, which it was on. And then the calculated metering unit setting was 13. So we gotta change that to seven. seven. So we just did it the first time, we optimized it, and we're going to do it again to see how close we can get it to 30. So he's cranking it for 1 20th of an acre. 1.365 on 1 20th of an acre. 27.3, that's just about perfect because we were aiming between 26 and 30. This is 27.1. So. Pretty close, cool. So we're calibrated then, eh? So now we just gotta repeat that process whenever we change up our mixes and uh, we should be good to go.
How much different is the process for calibrating this one now? Uh, same. Same routine? Same routine. Um, other than it won't be in the app. Oh, it really? It only does the truck hoppers. Okay. So the difference is there's these little pins here you pull out, and then this drops down. The tray from in here fits on. Okay. But yeah, then it's crank it, weigh it. And yep. We don't have any alfalfa loaded in this, but it's a pretty similar process to do the small box in the back. Um, we'll be doing that very last. So we got to seed down waterways and we're going to do some direct seeding with it. So that's pretty much it, right? Yep. Cool. Well, I appreciate you coming down and helping us calibrate it. And uh, we'll send this back your way when we're all wrapped up with it. Cool. Thanks, Ben. Yep, thank you. Now we got it all calibrated. The next step is going to be setting it up out in the field. But since it's going to start raining, uh, we'll wait until we're ready to actually start sitting down with it, which I'm hoping is going to be next week. But they're calling for rain this afternoon, rain tomorrow, and then one to three inches of snow tomorrow night. So I guess we winter again. But that was a really simple calibration. Uh, it was even easier than I thought it was going to be. And it takes less than 15 minutes to do. And that way you're sure that you have an accurate amount of seed that you're putting down you're not going to be wasting anything or putting not putting down enough so that's pretty much it for this video uh, keep an eye out for when we go out to the field with this thing and see it put to good use with that well, i'll see you next time guys